reminds me, my daughter was supposed to send me a video today. I don't know if she did. I'll have to check, or maybe she forgot. I'm trying to find some place to put this down so I don't have to hold it, but I'm failing miserable, miserably. And since I had broke my phone today, I guess I shouldn't worry about dropping it too much. I actually have had this phone since April 2018. I have square trade protection on it, which I always thought was kind of a waste. I dropped the phone today and it screen cracked in a bunch of places. And the deductible is probably not much less than what it would cost to replace it, but we're gonna do that on Friday. Shoot. Yep, okay. Anyway. All right, so after work today, I'm wearing my, you can't really see it, but my coffee and weight shirt from the fitness tea company. My fitness trainer has already noticed that I wear, that I've bought new shirts. Well, I told him I bought new shirts, so now he looks for them. I'm just going to keep moving things around. Um, I stopped at Sheets tonight to get an appetizer because I'm hurting a lot today. And I think it's because... Sorry guys, if you don't want to hear it, but my period is late. So I think it's all cramps that's making my body tight. And since I went to the gym this morning, the combination of cramps and having had leg day is just kind of killing me. And my back actually seized up a couple times, which is, I don't know, it was painful, but fleeting. It was a different sensation than I'm used to, so that made me a little nervous, but it only happened twice. Um, normally my guilty pleasure at Sheets is a double order of cheese curds and an order of jalapeno peppers, but that would be 300, 300, 200, that would be like 800 calories just in the peppers and stuff alone. So I swapped out one of my orders of poppers for tater tots and got, um, cheese sauce, which probably when you add it all up comes up to the same amount as having double cheese curds, but whatever. It was a good thought. I also used my points to get a free lemonade. And this is a large, I'm a little disappointed because this, the, this is supposedly like 400 calories on it, on its own, but I made it like the, uh, let's see, the uh, pina colada version. And to see if they included extras in their free drinks, um, I had them put immunity boost in it because vitamins are good, right? And it tastes very thick, probably because of the immunity boost. The coconut flavor is very heavy in a good way. It tastes like liquid candy. I'm not even sure I could taste the lemon. I think it's just making the pina colada really tight, tart. So not quite sure how pina colada lemonade works. Mm. Poppers. This is a guilty pleasure of mine, not only because the food is a guilty pleasure, but I'm kind of forcing myself to take like 10 minutes before going home and getting back into the grind of housework to kind of decompress. Because with the fundraiser this weekend, for fur, I need it. Today I got an email from Just Born Candy Company, the manufacturer of Just Born Jelly Beans and the infamous Peeps. If you know my small Peeps, they're local to my area. And they apparently gave us a donation but didn't tell me and I was supposed to pick it up today. So I will pick that up in a couple weeks, which will be after the fundraiser, but I'll either use it at one of our other cat events or if the product is... Um, fresh enough for the upcoming casino night we have planned. I also get a phone call that Target is still collecting things for us. Not sure what they're collecting because we had asked them if we could have money to buy drinks and whatnot, but we'll see. I have to pick that up on Saturday when I go to Wegmans to get the uh, beverages with the $50 gift card they give us and to Giant to get the paper products and whatnot because they give us a $25 gift card and I know Giant has some nice paper plates and stuff. Um, but I got the phone call from Target today while I was at work, and I recognized the phone number because, you know, Siri read it out loud to me. And I knew it was a really familiar phone number, but I couldn't place it, so I thought maybe it had something to do with the teenager's doctor's appointment tomorrow. So I answered, and it turns out it was Target, and I laughed because I was like, that's why the phone number is familiar, because they used to call me in all the time. So anyway...
things are still pretty good. I don't think I mentioned on the blog yet that uh, the plumber came back with an estimate for my new laundry room, so that's really exciting. I just needed to commit to when we can do the project and find my washer and dryer. So it was nice to say hi to everyone. Have a good night.